New Year everyone. Sue here from Sue's Doll Broadmite Garden today and it is the 11th of January 2022. <laughs> See how crazy this year is going to be shall we compared to the last two years. So we're now on year three of you know what. Um, yeah I don't like to speak about that so we're just oh well, I want to just quickly show you today. I'm only outside for a few minutes. I'm not actually out to do any gardening because I'm doing indoors at the moment. Me and my partner um, are stripping all the doors downstairs in the lobby. So we've been doing that for the past, I think this is week two. So I haven't had time to come out in the garden and the weather hasn't been very nice anyway. But I just can't do everything. So I'm just doing a really quick video in the morning. Um, just to quickly show you what's happening in the polytunnel and the stuff that I've sewed. Um, I still haven't put my bulbs in. I really, really, really need to do it. I've put some in a bag, the tulips, but I've still got loads on the table, all the daffodils. I've really got to get these things in because um, they're all starting to shoot now. I just noticed the ball carrots there. I think they might actually be ready because they don't get very big. Sorry if I look a bit scruffy today. I haven't actually... I've just quickly came outside, I've just um, let the, uh, fed the birds and the uh, anu and stuff. So anyway, I just really want to give you a quick tour of the polytunnel today and just show you the progress of what is happening in here. Okay, so I'll just turn the camera around and away we go. So, a quick tour of the polytunnel today. So I'll just start in this corner. So in here we have our parsnips. Our celery is still growing nicely. It's getting quite good now I have been using quite a lot of the shoots but I notice they're getting a bit yellow now um, in here we have some purple uh, or green sprouting broccoli uh, there's some here look actually growing so these are just been sort of dormant all winter so far they haven't really come to much um, the cabbages look like this so I'm not sure what's going on with them but they look awful up on the table here they're all our cuttings and stuff still growing i still haven't got in, in all these um pansies um there's still loads of them to put out so i will be getting around to that all these things that i said i was going to leave i've just left i'm not sure if they'll be all right uh well it's just an experiment it doesn't really matter we don't need the table space right this minute uh, our two evening primroses are still all right we must get them in the garden Right, over here we've got our strawberries, they're growing well. Um, we've got some bald carrots down there, look, you can just about see them. And at the back here we've got the garlic. So there's some garlic in here, but I've also got garlic growing outside. And I actually bought some garlic bulbs the other day when I went to visit my daughter in um, Ripon. And uh, went into this shop and they had 10 pence bags of garlic bulbs so I bought some not too many because I already had garlic bulbs and I think I've sowed loads of garlic so far anyway in here these are the oxide daisies we've got rocket growing here still mints are growing well I've been harvesting them and taking them indoors uh, more oxide daisies here and under here are the more strawberries we're going to be putting these outside uh, over this side we've got more radish, radish here, uh, the parsley still growing, I've been using it, um, so I've just been um, cultivating, you know, cutting it and harvesting it, parsley, more radish, more radish. We've had a few um, cold spells but nothing really major that's uh, really knocked everything back, um, some parsley there. That's not to say that won't happen, because it probably will. The radish are growing really well. Uh, there's more radish over here, at the back here. These lettuce are starting to grow, have been using some. This mint looks amazing. There's some more lettuce down here, growing. I did clear all the tops of the beds. Um, yeah, we've got loads of calendula still growing under here. Lavender's here. Yeah, all this calendula is still growing. Um, these two cabbages don't look very happy. One there, one there. Nothing else in here. Um, 
that's a hydrangea which I must get put outside this year I, I was supposed to, that's been in here for a year now <laughs> over here is where I put in the perpetual spinach which hasn't grown never mind over here is our salad that we sowed and that's all growing quite well I have been actually using some of the leaves I've been taking a quite a lot of the leaves off and using them indoors uh, there's some more celery that's still growing really well I'm still using the celery tops uh, over here oh yes look what we have here we have the forming of a cauliflower here yay I have one outside as well I'll show you that in a minute then we got some more of the radish here these cabbages don't look as bad they're looking all right I think that's another cauliflower there all these trees are doing all right all this stuff up here i cut it all down um those things are still growing over there uh in here not sure what's going on with them but there's some aquilegia in there i'm gonna just pop some bulbs in there um these cabbages are looking the same as the others all grotty the calendula in here is still growing and obviously the trees are all right and then our hanging baskets, I've trimmed them all and they're looking all right. So I've trimmed them all up. Look, we've even got a calendula in here <laughs> and these lovely um, sweet williams, I think they are. And this one's all right. I've trimmed up all the, um, look, see the little shoots on the geraniums? They might get knocked back again yet by the frost, but they are in the polytunnel and they're doing all right. Um, and my ones outside are doing all right as well, hanging outside the front of the house, funny enough. In all the wind, the rain, the snow, the sleet, everything. In here, you can see the little bulbs are starting to come up now. Oh, here's some stuff that I sowed. So we've got broccoli. It's all germinated, a bit leggy, but never mind. Um, some cow that I sowed. I watered these, which is why they're acting a bit weird at the moment, because they've got all flattened by the watering. <laughs> um and then the oh yeah these are the runner beans they're starting to grow and the cauliflower some more cauliflower back there are the three rows of red barren carrots uh some shallots and some black tuscan cow all growing well these are more onions growing good and these are more onions so all my onions are germinating, so that's good. Oh, in here are some, I put these in here really quick the other day and they're already starting to come up, but these are the tulips. Oh, that might have moved that bulb. It feels, I don't know, looks sideways anyway. Um, back here, we've got some more Savoy cabbage growing in there. Our Sweet Williams, our um, Forget-Me-Nots, we need to get these in. These are my sweet peas that I done in the autumn, which are really growing now. I put them in on the 10th of October and they're all growing really well. We've got some cowslip at the back and then in here we've got some turnips, radish and mixed salad, which is all growing really well. And in here we are our Savoy cabbage that we didn't put out in the garden and they're growing really well. <clears throat> in here are the watercress. So I've just left that. Look at that. I'm going to pot them on actually. And we have still been harvesting this watercress. It is really peppery but really nice. And in here are our peas for our pea tops and I have actually been... Um, I might actually put these in the garden and let them form as actual peas because they they would be really strong plants by now. So I might do that actually. And they're sweet peas. I was following the Green Side Up guy who's, who plants, who sows his sweet peas early in the year, the previous year, for the, no, hold on, for the year before, for the year after, if you know what I mean. So I've got loads of stuff on the go. Um, and I will be sowing some more stuff. Down here are some Mizuna. Mm, they're looking all, I don't know if there are weeds on Mizuna. But anyway, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the polytunnel today. 
really quick because um, now I need to get outside and just quickly show you the two front beds which every now and then like the other night when I went to shut the chickens up I quickly put another load of garlic in um, so that's what I've been doing I've just been popping outside really quick um, do it since the animals look at the sky today look at the clouds and the hills I don't know if you've been watching any of my relaxation and meditation videos where I'm just putting together music with with um, scenery. I mean, a lot of the scenery isn't our scenery. I haven't got round to filming loads of scenery around here, but I will do that eventually. But it does take hours to put together clips. Um, so I've just been using free footage clips of scenery of, all over the world and putting it to free music. Um, and if you want to pop over there, I'll put a link on this video so you can pop over and have a listen and a watch. And it's all just scenery, no voices, just scenery and music. And I love it. I, I keep watching my own ones that I've created because I really enjoy them. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like doing it. But I just wanted to do something different. And because I hadn't been able to do many videos recently, I thought I'd just start doing that as well. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, in here... At the back, you can't see anything. But there's like, I think I've put three rows of um, garlic in at the back there. Oh, I think there might actually be one or two coming up already that you could see. And in here are still the um, wallflowers or sweet williams from last year. I think these are sweet williams or dianthus or something. Anyway, and here's my little tree that I took indoors and had it in my living room upstairs and put loads of red bulbils and stuff on it and we've got three more trees which I'll show you another day um, and over here are these garlic that I've planted so look look at these garlic so we've got like quite a few that I just put in everywhere quickly so they will grow amongst all the flowers once this flowers start coming out and I need to move these two oh I was going to move these weren't I in the right now yeah I need to move these two um, honeyberries over to the other side of the garden yeah and I think I'll plant some more garlic in there and that's the um, look at that like a tight carpet that's the what is that Melissa oh that's the lemon balm look at that it's like a carpet that's grown <laughs> Anyway, so that's that. What else would I quickly want to show you? Oh yeah, I dug up these these the other day and I need to just break them up and put them back in the garden. Oh, I'll quickly show you over here where I planted all my crocuses before Christmas. I don't know if you can see any. Uh, I could see some. Oh, there's a few there coming up. See that? And these little ones, these are the allison seeds. There's going to be tons of allison in here. There's a bit of aquilegia there. And down there, oh, there's my three trees. Which I'm going to space out a bit better than that. My partner just put them there. Over here, I did tidy up this part of the garden. And I did tidy up that bit of the garden. And I've got to there and I need to do that then I need to do the whole of that side of the garden before it all starts growing back and get rid of the weeds I'm going to try salt on the weeds this time with no vinegar and then over here are the foxgloves look I left them ones there and there's some there let's quickly look down here and see what's happening shall we I haven't been down here there's my Rhododendron, that won't flower this year. Uh, there's some little hollies that are growing. Yeah, I did tidy all this bit up. There's some little flowers here. I think there's some there's some seeds in here. There's some forget-me-nots there. And some other bits and bobs. Some forget-me-nots there and there. I might plant some more forget-me-nots in here. Um, what else have we got over here? Oh yeah, here is the um, hollyhocks. So there are hollyhocks in here. And as you can see, one is already starting to come back. 
and there's another fox club there and another fox club there and oh there's something growing there I better be careful where I walk because there's quite a lot of plants in here and then loads and loads of those um, red lily things I'm going to have to find out the name what they're called those red lily things that grow everywhere anyway I just wanted to quickly show you that what else can we quickly show you Oh, our um, cauliflower. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> oh, that's something I just planted there. It's growing. This little rockery bed's growing all right. I haven't had to do much to it. I thought I might need to <coughs> take out these geraniums, but yeah. I'm just going to leave them now because it's a bit late. We're already in the next year. <laughs> oh, I think that's... Oh, that's not fixed to anything. That's just a bit of old um, wallflower. Anyway, I'll just show you quickly over here. So these are our swede, still growing. Haven't actually been in there since uh, cleared it out. Over here are uh... oh, I think you can't really see them, but in there is beetroot. You can't see them. And in here is now our other cauliflower. I noticed it the other day. Look. So that's good, isn't it? And that's our old brisha there. We need to tidy that up a bit. So my mission is to tidy up this. I need to tidy up this bed now because I need it. And I've still got to dig up all this mallow and get all these plants in the garden before they start growing again. Oh. This bed we're leaving fallow for the minute. I just put a load of stuff on the top. I've got a load of roses. I showed you those already. That rose I'm going to plant by that tree because it's a climbing rose and I'm hoping it'll go along that fence actually, that side. If I encourage it, I'll make it go that side of that fence. And I still haven't covered up that particular compost bin. There's a great big head of broccoli that I wasted the other day. And over here, so this has still got all the leaves on, so we're just leaving that. Over here are the, there's some turnips, they don't seem to have grown very well. I don't think they like this soil in this bed, so I won't be putting in more turnips. I started putting leaves on and then I ran out of leaves. And now the leaves are stopped. And in here are all our, like, oh gosh, load of water on the thing. Uh, broccoli, um, there's some Brussels sprouts in here. I keep looking at them, nothing's happening. We've got tiny little Brussels sprouts forming. I'm not sure when they're going to be ready. But uh, I got a load of Brussels sprouts the other day from the shop for 10 pence a bag. <laughs> uh, there we have some broccoli in here. More broccoli, I think. Uh, more broccoli. These are looking quite healthy in here though, I must say. They're looking good. They're broccoli. There's some red cabbage in here. You can't really see because it's been raining. Um, yeah, I think that's... These are... Um, <coughs> I'm not sure which ones are the cabbage. These are... I don't know. Anyway, so there you go. I'm not sure what they are, I can't remember if they're cabbage or what do you call them, Brussels sprouts. So this is still all right. Oh, we've still got our pond. Our pond is still all right. There's our little pond. Still all right. Not sure if there's any life in there. Um, the water stays fresh because obviously it rains a lot. I still haven't cleared this bit out, so these leaves here are going to go on that bit of the garden over around the other side. I still haven't sorted this out, I haven't had time to come out here and sort this out. But these calendula here are growing alright. These osteospernum. Oh, these are the little wallflowers that I was that I took off the actual round the tree and I'm going to plant them on, but they're alright at the moment in there. Um, these I haven't planted in yet whatever they're called there's a purple one and then some mottled purple ones and these are to go on the rockery 
I was going to put one of these over here um, and near the foxgloves that I planted over here which are doing all right and that calendula's doing all right so overall the garden's looking all right it hasn't been that much of a struggle uh, once I tidied up all these beds here because they were really needing a good tidy up and everything well everything else has been quite easy and since I swept up all of the leaves and kept sweeping them until they finished and putting them on the beds uh, it's made my life a lot easier but I still need to do the other side of the garden I'm, I've got to get out here and then I want to go over by the caravans and clear out all the buddlias and we still haven't got back into the car park we haven't been out there for a few weeks and we still need to make two more um, wood sheds so we've got a lot to do I've had a lot of birds on my bird feeders here I had to buy a new bird feeder because I noticed the squirrel well, I've got one in a cage now but the squirrel got in here and um, was breaking the seeds in bent that look I only bought this the other day but he completely eh, broke all of the plastic on the other one to get to the food inside so I've bought this sort of cage one now and and this one I had that one already but I've got a pheasant there mosing around so I just wanted to quickly show you that I'll just turn the camera around and say goodbye and um, we'll leave it there for today because I'm really uh, I'm not actually doing any gardening I just came out to do a quick video right, okay. I just really want to say goodbye because um, I just came out for a few minutes just do a really quick video for you just so you know I'm still alive um, yeah go over and have a look at my relaxation and meditation videos they're just really nice music that I've actually chosen uh, I really love the music that I've chosen and I love watching them and they're just scenery with um, music overlay and I really have enjoyed making them and I'm going to be making a load I've actually got a channel for that but at the moment I'm just putting them up on this channel and then I will link link it over to that channel but um, as as the year goes on I need to start using my camera and to actually go around and, and take um, video of our views where we are in Wales because the views are stunning and the sea and everything I need to do a video by the river so you can hear the water of the river but they do take a lot of time to make these videos I tell you so um, but I will be going around to take my camera with me and just take loads of shots of I like this like oh, I need to just show you this can you see this look at the clouds It looks amazing. And that, that kind of thing. It's just so beautiful here. You get such beautiful views. But at the moment, this year, this year we are so busy. We are actually going to be doing so much to the building this year. We've actually started. We've done the doors inside. I will be making some videos um, for Sue's um, DIY redoing our building videos whatever i haven't decided what they're going to be called yet but we will be doing some videos and i will be showing you like before and after some during but if my partner's involved he doesn't like being videos so there won't be no videos with my partner in so it would only just be me doing it so um at the moment we're both doing it so we've nearly done all the doors downstairs in the lobby and there are five doors the skirting board and all the architrave round the doors as well we've done um, taking off all the paint and turn, turning it back into the wood and we've lightened the wood as well so it's not as dark because it was a bit dark um, so but I will show you that in another video and I will just do one for DIY so thank you for watching please give me a like and a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will answer you if there's anything you want to know about where we live or anything um, we're not sure what we're doing yet about the place but we will continue working on it and um, just going to get the roof done. We still haven't had the roofer come even though he's promised to come several times now and we've had loads and loads of rain and we really need the roof doing and he still hasn't come. So we're, And the outside of the building needs painting and doing this year 
and the patio outside the back doors where the um, yeah where the, where the sliding doors are we want to redo all that um, and do the bathrooms in the bedroom so we're just going to probably do three bathrooms this year and then three bathrooms next year they're not that bad they've just all got baths in really and we want to change them out for showers <clears throat> okay so thank you for watching i'll see you again soon in the next video and thank you and bye and see you later bye bye bye